Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Ryan. Come back to another video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at my week two predictions. I did really bad. Uh, seven, seven, seven I got right, nine I got wrong. Um, thought Baltimore could win against uh, the Raiders. Again, I, th I thought Detroit, Detroit seemed like they're playing good, but I thought I said it was going to be a close game. I thought without um, Jordan Love, Packers weren't going to be that good. Uh, I thought that Cleveland, especially the way that they played against Dallas, that they were going to lose this game. I mean, this was a big upset, San Francisco versus Minnesota. I mean, it was it was a big upset, but Sam Darnold proved that he was a baller. Then we got Giants versus Washington. I Like I said, it could have gone both, either way. It was neck and neck, but losing a kicker cost them the game. Rams versus Cardinals. I thought Rams were going to win, especially the way the Cardinals played the prior week. I didn't think they'd be able to come out and be strong. And then Marvin Harrison just had a hell of a had one of the games was like, Denver versus Pittsburgh. I thought Denver's defense would be able to take over the game, especially with Pittsburgh offense not being as good as it as it has been prior years. And then I thought Philadelphia could take the win against Atlanta, but you know you never know what could happen. Okay, let's look at my week three predictions. First game, New England versus Jets. I have Jets winning. New England is solid. I, I think this game could actually be very close. New England has been playing a really good, really good this season. But I think Jets with Aaron Rodgers and the offensive star power, they could win this game. Giants versus Cleveland. I hate to say it, but I think Cleveland's going to win it. Even with uh, Miles Garrett playing with an injury right now. Uh, and with using a backup running back. Chicago versus Indianapolis. Chicago played a great game against Houston. But I think Indianapolis is going to, uh, Chicago's going to take it. Because Indianapolis hasn't been looking good this season. Houston versus Minnesota. Even though they're both undefeated teams. I do think Minnesota is going to take the win over Houston. I really believe that because Minnesota has just been playing balls, been balling out this season. Philadelphia versus New Orleans. I'm going to choose New Orleans. New Orleans has just been playing by their mind against the Cowboys and against the Panthers. Yes, the Panthers are not a good team, but they still dominated against the Cowboys. Chargers versus Steelers. I have Chargers winning. Yeah, Pittsburgh had a great game last week. But Chargers just, I feel like, be on a roll, play really good. Next, we got Denver versus Tampa Bay. I think Tampa Bay's going to win. It's Denver's just playing horrendous. Next, we got Carolina versus Las Vegas. I got Las Vegas winning. Carolina, you know, unless Andy Dalton pulls off a miracle, I don't see Carolina winning. Uh, Miami versus Seattle. I have Miami winning, even without Tua. I think that you put any quarterback back there with the team, with the offensive power that they have, they could easily score enough to stop the Seattle team. Detroit versus Arizona. Right now I have Arizona winning. Uh, Detroit played a close game against Los, uh, Los Angeles, against the Rams, but Arizona just played a physical game against them and was able to take them past and do a lot more damage against that Rams team than what Detroit was able to do. Next, we got... Baltimore versus Dallas. I think Baltimore can win. You know, two very close games between the two of them. Um, Baltimore has had it very has had very close games to start the season. I think that they could easily take out this Dallas team that looked horrendous against New Orleans. Next, we have San Francisco versus the Rams. I think San Francisco can win this going back, um, even without Debo. I think they can win this game if they play right. Yeah, they didn't have McCaffrey. But I think even without that, I think this team can take on the Rams. Kansas City versus Atlanta. I think Kansas City can win this game. But it could go to Atlanta with the way that they played against Philadelphia and how they were able to get an upset. But I don't see them doing that again. Next, we got Jacksonville versus Buffalo. I have Buffalo winning. Buffalo's just been a solid team this season and just been really good. But I, I, I don't... I don't think Jacksonville can win it against them. Next, we got Washington versus Cincinnati, especially with last week, the way Washington played. I, I don't think that they can beat Cincinnati. And if Cincinnati plays the game that they played against the Chiefs, they can win. So, yeah, guys, that's my predictions. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know how you guys think I did. Peace.